Okay, everyone, let's learn how to tie a halter. It's unlikely that in today's age you will be stranded without a pre-made halter, but who knows when you may have a piece of rope and no halter and you need to make a halter for an animal. So we're going to teach you how to do that. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to tie a bowline at the end of our rope. So we've got this rope, we want to tie a bowline at the end. So we're going to make our little loop. We want this to be a fairly small bowline, so I'm going to stay towards the end. We're going to make our little loop. We're going to take the end of our rope, which is our rabbit. We're going to pass it up through the hole, around the tree, and back down through that hole. We're going to hold on to the end of the rabbit and that little piece of loop there to tighten that down. And now we've got a loop right at the very end of the rope. Okay. Next, what we want to create is the fixed portion of the halter. Remember your anatomy of halters in that the uh, halter has an adjustable portion that goes down around the mandible, and then actually another adjustable portion that goes up around the ears, and then it has a fixed portion that goes around the bridge of the nose. Okay, And that's what we want to create next. So we've got this, we've got the little bowline at the end. If we were making this for a little goat, we would make this fixed portion fairly small. If we were making it for, say, a large bull, we would make that fixed portion fairly, fairly long. I'm going to make it sort of moderately sized. So, got the bowline. I come up here a couple inches, and I'm going to make a loop. And I'm going to pull that through just so I have another another hole, another loop to pass a piece of rope through. And again, this size, the fixed portion is now made, the size of which will determine how big, so to speak, the halter is and, and how, what size animal we can, we can place this halter on. We're going to take the end of our rope. Here's the end of our rope. We're going to pass it through the bowlin first, so the end of that, the other end of the, the, or the loop that's on the other end of the rope, we're going to pass it through there first. This is critical. If you pass it through this one first, you'll have a weird looking halter that won't work. So you pass it through that, and then you come up here and pass it through that end. Okay, and now we have a halter. When we place this halter, remember the fixed portion goes over the bridge of the nose. This adjustable portion goes down underneath the mandible. And this other adjustable portion here that's not, that's a little bit further away from the lead. This goes over top of the ears. Okay. For convention's sake, we always bring the halter off on the left side of the animal. So this animal is looking at you on um, uh, the, the left side of the animal you've got the, this lead coming off and we lead from the left. So that's how to make a halter. Thank you very much.